Atoms are the basic building blocks of all matter. They are the smallest particles that can have the same properties as the stuff they make up. Different atoms can be combined in different ratios to form all substances we encounter every day. Hello everyone and welcome back to H&H &H Knowledge Hub. In today's video, we're going to talk about atoms and elements. These tiny atoms contain even smaller particles called subatomic particles. Protons are subatomic particles. They have a positive electric charge. Protons are found in the center or no nucleus part of the atom. The nucleus also contains another type of subatomic particle called neutrons. Neutrons have no charge. Both protons and neutrons help keep balance in the center of the atom. The protons and neutrons make up most of the atom's mass. The third type of subatomic particles are called electrons. Electrons are negatively charged and are much smaller than protons and neutrons. Electrons are found outside the nucleus in a region called the electron cloud. Atoms are electrically neutral overall because they have the same amount of protons as neutrons. The positive charges of protons balance out the negative charges of neutrons and electrons. An element is a pure substance that is made of only one type of atom. For example, the metal aluminum is an element made of, of aluminum atoms. An atom is the smallest unit of any element that has the properties of that element. Elements can be identified by their atomic number and chemical symbol. Elements can also be described by their chemical symbol. A chemical symbol is an abbreviation that represents an element. Most elements have one or two letters in their chemical symbols. The first letter is always capitalized and the other letters are always lowercase. These symbols are like nicknames that allow chemists to write chemical names. The periodic table of elements is used to organize over 110 known elements. The periodic table is organized in rows by increasing atomic number. The atomic number of each element is listed at the top of the element square in the periodic table. The periodic table contains three main classes of the elements. Metals, non-metals, and metalloids. Each class of elements can be found in a specific area on the periodic table. A physical property is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed and measured without changing the identity of that substance. Color, density, and conductivity are all physical properties. Thermal conductivity is a measure of how well a substance can transfer energy. Most elements are classified as metals. Most metals are solid and can be recognized by their luster or shine. Many metals are malleable, which means that they can be pounded into sheets or other shapes. Metals are good conductors for electricity. Many nonmetals are gases at room temperature. Nonmetals are typically dull, in other words, lack luster. Solid nonmetals are brittle or non malleable. Nonmetals are poor conductors of electricity. Metalloids are elements that have some properties of metals and some properties of nonmetals. Metalloids are typically solids and have somewhat metallic luster. Metalloids are less malleable than metals, but not as brittle as nonmetals. Metalloids are known as semiconductors. They conduct electric current better than nonmetals, but not as well as metals. Hope you all enjoyed this week's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and share. See you all next week.